Gerard John Schaefer was a sheriff in Florida when he was denounced by two victims who had only just escaped from his grasp. He used his badge to gain trust from his prey. He is absolutely the worst person that I've ever seen. He looked into my eyes and he said, you don't understand because you're not a serial killer. Condemned to life in prison in 1973 for the murder of two young women, he is initially considered responsible for the deaths of 32 other victims before another hundred are cited. Gerard Schaefer was killed by another inmate in 1995. If he had ever come out of prison and then confronted me or put me in any fear of harm, I, I was totally prepared to kill him. A serial killer is defined as an individual who has committed at least three murders in a space of a few days to several years. A psychopath characterized by their excessive appetite for murder and the pleasure they extract from their actions. Their crimes make them feel all-powerful to the point where they feel they'll never be caught. A pathological pervert an individual with a cold and calculating temperament. Other people are simply objects to be manipulated and dominated in order to achieve their aims. He is the worst serial killer I ever interviewed. He could look you right in the eye and you know he wanted to kill you. And he'd smile, he had a smirk on his face. He was such a, a mixture, such a hodgepodge of, uh, of different types of deviants. Cruel, inhumane, cold and calculated as it comes. During the many hours of interview with Gerard Schaefer, he was always full of smiles, very charming, but I knew I was in front of the darkest of any abyss in front of Gerald Schaefer. I had literally the impression of a psychological rape on his behalf. What are you accused of? Well, I was accused of originally, originally accused of killing 34 women, but nobody has ever managed to come up with 34 names, jurisdictions, or anything else. It's a false accusation. And what is your conviction? I was convicted of killing two in Fort Pierce. I was never shown to be at the crime scene. There was never any link between me and the people that were killed, except the testimony of the mother of one of them. Stéphane Bourgoin, dit a... Stéphane Bourgoin says he felt that it was someone who was evil, because in his eyes you don't exist. The other person doesn't exist. The other person has denied their individuality and their humanity. Uh, this is a case of perversion that's rarely seen, thank God. Gerard Schaefer is condemned to life in prison in 1973 for the murder of two young women. The police will later attribute a further 34 victims to him. But they estimate that he may have killed between 80 to 110 people. In 1972, Robert Crowder is already the sheriff of Martin County in Florida. I met uh, Gerard Schaefer when he was an applicant for a position as a deputy sheriff. At that particular time, he was a police officer in Wilton Manors, Florida, in Broward County. And he was looking for uh, a job as a deputy sheriff uh, in another county. And at the time, he had... Uh, What's been described as an apple-cheeked, wholesome appearance uh, was uh, could be very uh, 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 pleasant, almost charismatic in uh, the way he would deal with people. But later we began to see that uh, there was a different uh, a face underneath that facade. Schaefer moves into a house a few kilometers away from the sheriff's office. 
he seems perfect for the position of deputy sheriff. But exactly 28 days later, Schaefer makes a grave error and is unmasked by his superior. I was home that Saturday morning mowing my lawn. The telephone rings, my wife calls me in, I go to the telephone, and it's uh, Schaefer. And he says, you are really going to be mad at me. I really did something stupid. And I said, well, tell me what's going on. He says, well, yesterday when I was working, there were these two girls, teenage girls, hitchhiking. And uh, uh, I stopped to talk to them and uh, gave them a ride and tried to impress upon them how dangerous it was for young girls to hitchhike. There were a lot of th problems they could get into, trouble, bad things that could happen to them. And they just laughed at it and didn't take me seriously. So I arranged to meet them today and uh, uh, I was going to put a scare into them and show them, uh, convince them that it's dangerous so that nothing would happen to them later if they uh, uh, would do what I said. And he said he took them into the woods and then told them uh, he was going to sell them into slavery. And then he said to scare them, he left them there to sit for a while, and then he was going to come back and let them loose. But when he came back, they were gone. They had managed to get, uh, get loose from the, from the ropes.